Uh, of course, in our breaking news tonight on KUAM, uh, that the substitute bill that was passed by the legislature, a substitute bill by the Committee on Appropriations and the Chairman of Appropriation is Senator Ben Pangolin. Am I correct in that? Yes. Right. Okay. Now, they, uh, they passed the budget bill without the component of a, the tax refunds, and the breaking news tonight was there we're $100 million short for tax refunds for, for next year. What, what, what are we going to do? Well, uh, we we have to we have to find a way to to come up with a hundred and five million dollars, mm -hmm. and that's not going to be easy. And and that's why we need to address also the the uh, the court decision mm -hmm. to ensure timely payment of the permanent of tax, injunction. Yeah, yeah, the permanent yeah. injunction with a timely payment of tax refunds. And and what I have been saying all along that you know, as of September thirtieth, mm -hmm. we we should have set aside. 105, but but that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't understand. Again, we, we go down this road. Again, and the, and the top breaking stories, of course, is the hundred million dollars short, and then DOE uh, uh, implementing the the increments. And and we can't give people, or at this point, because the budget was passed without the with, without the um, the tax uh, refund component of a hundred million dollars. Yet we have enough because because you know as Joe St. Augustine will say, he says, well, it's owed. Well, the people next year will be owed their taxes as well. I mean, a debt is a debt. That's right. So when the, if the government is going to wipe out its debt, why? I mean. We're selecting on who whose debt we're going to wipe out. I mean, how about the taxpayers? Yeah, that's correct. It's like I said, we we have to uh, come up with a plan on how we're going to to come up with the hundred and five, and when do we have to? When do we need to come up with that that amount of money to pay that? Well, I think the court has a date on that already. I think the, the, I, I, we have no choice. The court sets a date. Well, we we are um, the. The, the attorneys are are getting together, and you know we're also the fiscal team is mm -hmm. we've we've been meeting and and um, we're trying to address this issue mm -hmm. and how we can resolve it. It's it's not easy. It didn't happen mm -hmm. overnight. Uh, this issue with the tax refunds it's mm -hmm. been a, a a problem for many many years. And and like I said, we came back last year with with our three hundred and forty four billion dollar bond bill and mm -hmm. and. Um, we had thought that if uh, they had followed that plan, they, this this mm -hmm. issue with the tax refund would would have been resolved. Well, I, 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 it just boggles my mind that um, a legislature can pass a bill and say we're a hundred million dollars short. It, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, if your business is going and say, hey, this is our budget for this year, but we're short we're short a hundred million dollars, and you're a two hundred million dollar operation. It's half of your business is gone. It's going to shut down. Anyway, Benita, thank you very much. I, I appreciate it very much. Uh, we're going to have you back again. We'll talk about uh, hopefully everything goes smoothly with the health insurance negotiations, and uh, we'll talk about that. And I'll, I'm going to dig out my papers, okay? And then okay. Uh, we'll see what you what you had to say. And I, I'm hoping I I have strong feeling it is, but we'll wait until you say so, okay? okay. Join me tomorrow morning on the Buzz. It's Less 63 at Chamorro Radio Station. It's good night for now. Esta Gupa Guam.